uh, this is out of the book of Second Andrews 15 verse 15. Uh, Second Andrews 15 verse 15. It says, uh, for the sword and destruction shall have nine, one people should stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. Right. Son of one, first and foremost, I think of all praises and glory and honor to the Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Karkadash. And the heavenly father, true name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, by Hashem, in the name of Mashiach, Kapashah. Those are their true names in the ancient Pelican Hebrew, the Mashmar Kadash of the tongue, and the Rock and Thumb to the uh, elders of Akimah Akra from I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, prophecy updates as of uh, October 7, 2024, on this uh, Monday morning. And this is a uh, news article, you know, as they commemorating the uh, October 7 situation with Hamas did to the uh, Israel Defense Force. As we've been saying, rising tests have been heating up on both sides. And this is a uh, recent news article which says the IAF intercepted an aerial threat heading towards Israel from the east. It says the Israel Air Force has intercepted an aerial threat that heading towards the country from the east before it had crossed into the Israeli territory. The IDF reported on Monday overnight. The report uh, did not specify where it was heading for the north or the south region. It says an explosion is heard near the Israeli embassy in uh, Denmark for the second time in a week. And it says uh, U.S. Secretary of Defense uh, Austin reiterates its uh, support for Israel. It says uh, two German activists deported from Israel after they clashed with IDF with the Israel Defense Force. It says alarms activated in Roshana, Lezon area, the IDF investigates. It says, I, it says Russia says it struck two Syrian military sites, right? Because it's, uh, I believe it's most likely to say a retaliation strike. Um, because you had uh, Israel Defense Force has used airstrikes over there to target the uh, Russian groups, which is stationed over there in Syria as well, too. But most likely that airstrike comes from uh, Russia going against the uh, proxy groups. Because you've been having uh, Syria been going against those proxy groups ever since 2015. Because Russia, they've been allies with them. You know, ever since then, they've been battling them ever since then. So you got a lot of many different things that's going on over the area. You got the uh, proxy wars. You have an increasing of the uh, wars and rumors of wars. Then the uh, nations against nations this is World well too, And that's what we're seeing. It says the IDF, uh, Hamas uh, groups operating with the uh, Hospital in uh, Deir al Brown, which I believe the IDF target those uh, sites so that we have uh, uh, pro Iranian Hezbollah groups been stationed over there in that area. And this is a uh, bring out description. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus. We got this uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and verse 1. It says, uh, But he that giveth his life to the most high and is occupied in meditation of the world will seek out the wisdom of all ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Right, so we occupy prophecies to the best of our ability. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Matthew. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully this video recording don't go out on me because I have to record over again, which is kind of bogus. <laughs> Matthew 24, verse 6. It says, uh, Ye shall hear of wars, rumors of wars, right? That's what we're hearing. Increasing wars, rumors of wars. Iran versus Israel. The uh, Iranian groups. Israel, uh, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps going against the Israel Defense Force. You know, the proxy groups all together backed by Iran going against the Israel Defense Force. That's what we're seeing heating up over that balance of respect in Western Asia. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these days must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, it's going to come to pass, but it's not going to end yet. That's why we're going to see uh, a lot of increase in uh, wars and rumors of wars between the arms of the nation. That's what we're seeing. Matthew 24, verse 7 For nation shall rise against nation. Right, I ran versus Israel. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilence in earthquakes and diverse places. Right, so increase in pestilence and famines. Uh, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Matthew 24, verse 8, all these are beginning of sorrows, right? So all these is the increase in beginning of sorrows that we've done seen uh, more and more in these last days. This is, uh, this is uh, the book of Luke 21, verse 25. It says, there shall be, it says, there shall be sun. It says, Luke 21, verse 25, and there shall be signs and sun and the moon and the stars upon the earth. This first nation will reflect the seas rich more. Right, so this is especially with the uh, seditions, the uprisings, and the upwards people will, you know, the increase of this first of nations will reflect the seas rich more. And that's what we're seeing. And this is uh, Second Edges, chapter 9, and verse 3. 
chapter 2, and chapter 9, verse 3, it says, uh, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, up for us, people world. Right, so increasing earthquakes and increasing up for us in the people world, just like I brought up that Luke uh, 21, verse 25. Yeah, this is on the book of Second Edges, 15 and verse 15. It says, For the sword, we know the modern day swords, but for the sword and the destruction draw off nine, one people should stand up and fight against another with swords in the hands, right as we're seeing throughout the whole planet Earth, especially Iraq versus Israel, and the resistance of the Palestinians brought against the IDF as they commemorate of uh, October 7th, which is commemorating the Clinton name. This is uh, Second Edges, 15 and verse 16. But there should be sedition among men, many one another. They should not regard their kings or their princes, of course, are actually standing about. Why so we have uh, classes among the nations throughout the whole planet Earth and uh, citizens class against their allegiance of power and of course the actions stand in power and that's what we're seeing that's the only going to continue to increase you know? this is uh, the book of second edges God, this is out of the second edges 16 verse 18 the beginning of song was the morning the beginning of famines and our death the beginning of wars and power should stand in fear it says the beginning of evil which I do when this evil should come so with that, this was just a quick sit down lesson of our prophecy updates as of October 7, 2024, on this uh, Monday morning. So with that, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem Al Shabbat Hashem Al Kadash, Barak Obama to the uh, elders while Akwa Akwa to the next time. I'll say, uh, Shalom.